The Russian army said on Friday it had completely taken control over Azovstal steel plant in the strategic city of Mariupol after capturing the last Ukrainian soldiers present there. Russian Minister of Defense spokesman affirmed that more than 2,000 Nazis from the Azov regiment have been captured, including their chief, who had been evacuated from the factory in a special armored vehicle to avoid being attacked by hostile residents. The territory of the Azovistal steel work plant in Mariupol, where a group of Ukrainian fighters of the Nazi formation Azov was blocked since April 21 is completely liberated. The underground facilities of the Enterprise, where the fighters were hiding, came under the full control of the Russian armed forces. Since May 16, 2439 Nazis from the Azov regiment and Ukrainian troops blocked in the plant have surrendered. Igor added that Russian President Vladimir Putin was informed by his defense minister Sergei Shoigu of the end of the operation and the complete liberation of the combined Azovstal in the port city of Mariupol. Minister of Defense of the Russian Federation Sergei Shoigu reported to Russian President Vladimir Putin on the end of the operation and the complete liberation of the industrial complex and the city of Mariupol from Ukrainian fighters. Residents of the capital Kiev reacted to the news and expressed pride in their soldiers hold up for weeks inside the huge steel works in Mariupol. Yes, they, uh, they are heroes. They will be in a historical book. They are heroes uh, of our time and of the whole free world. And uh, yesterday I heard that uh, on the Russian television they said they may kill them as they think they are Nazis. Uh, and I'm scared. With Mariupol under full control, Moscow has successfully concluded that battle. The Kremlin has completed a land bridge from Russia to Crimea, which is considered as a major success.